Welcome back to Coog Center on YouTube.com. My name is Jeff Neusser, one of the authors here at the site, back with you again for another video. And we're trying out a new feature this week. We're going to do my three things I want to see via video with the help of Jeff Collier and his whiz-bang video production abilities. Uh, first things first, if you like what we do, please subscribe to us. There's a subscribe button above my head if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching it at Coog Center, uh, there's also a link within the post with which you can subscribe. Um, that just delivers our, our new videos into your feed on YouTube when we record them and upload them. And sometimes that's before we actually put them on the site so you can get the videos the fastest that way. Uh, this little segment is, is simply this. Here are three things I want to see at the game this weekend. They're not necessarily three keys. They're more just like three things that I want to observe, three things that let me know the team's moving in the right direction. So thing number one is I want to see no big pass plays where the ball travels over 20 yards in the air. Um, big pass plays have been an issue for the team all year long. Um, you know, you can't always control a short play that turns into a big game missed tackle whatever, but the secondary really could step up their game by allowing no big plays on balls that are thrown over 20 yards. I also want to see two or three drives that are like that drive against UNLV that spanned the third and fourth quarter that Brad Anderson wrote about. Uh, that play was clinical, 13 plays, lots of like 5 to 10 yard passes, which is exactly what the air raid is, contrary to a lot of people's popular belief. It's about it's not necessarily dink and dunk, but it's about taking what the defense gives you and marching down the field five to ten yards at a time. When you do that, the big plays open up over the top, and then you can really get explosive. So I want to see a lot more of those kinds of plays. And lastly, Colorado is a really bad team. I mean, we're talking as bad as the Cougars were um, about three years ago. And so what I want to see is I want to see a win that feels decisive, a win that feels dominant. Um, that would tell me that this team is probably heading in the right direction as well. So there you have it. There's my three things I want to see. Go ahead and leave in the comments down below the three things that you want to see this weekend and we'll catch you after the game.